Hi guys, today I'm going to film a house tour. I asked on Facebook and Twitter yesterday if you wanted to see one and it was a resounding yes. Uh, something I've been putting off because I wanted things to be perfect but to be quite honest um, it's probably never going to be perfect and I want to do a festive update so I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. Various things I want to change, everything's not perfectly clean and tidy as I would like it but I did have a quick tidy round this morning because my grandma came to visit. You know how it is. Um, but yeah, everything's not perfect so please just bear that in mind. Um, and plus, you know, we have the puppy and a small boy that want to mess everything up as soon as I've tidied it up. So it's never going to happen in this house. But this is how I'm going to do it. I'm taking inspiration from Gems Maquillage, who once upon a time did um, a brilliant tour. I think she had a few rooms to herself in the house. I don't think it was a full house tour at the time, but it was slightly interactive. So you could kind of click to go through a door and then you'd watch another video, which was kind of hidden. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, there will be three videos that are linked this is the first one and there will be two more that are linked that you can kind of see from this video that will not be on YouTube, it will just appear to be one and if you want to see more you can find the links below or you can kind of click through as the video progresses so it's just going to basically be three levels, that's just how I decided to split it up um, so thank you Gemma for the inspiration, I will link your video below because I thought it was such a cool and original idea which I have now stolen um, so for those of you that are just interested in our main living space, this is the video for you. If you want to see the middle floor, which is the kids, then the video will progress to that, or you can see the link below. And if you want to see the top floor, which is our bedroom and our ensuite and kind of the, my space, really, and Lee just sleeps there, um, then you can see the third video as we go along, or again, it will be linked below, and you can skip the middle one altogether. So let's get into it. So when you first come in the door, this is what you see. Um, I really desperately want to change that light, but I don't know what to change it for. We'll go through and I'll show you various things I want to change. And I'm definitely going to do um, kind of a Christmas edition when I put up some decorations and stuff. So potentially you'll see some changes by then. Um, but what we have is, this is the downstairs toilet, which I'll show you in a second. This is the living room and this is the kitchen. Then we have the landing, or the stairs rather, to the landing there. And that's where you will begin your interactive trail. But first of all, we have the downstairs bathroom. It's not exciting. There is literally, I'm looking for a light switch there's nothing going on in here I kind of love the light um, but I haven't put anything in here at all yet I want to do like a little shelf or a mirror or something I kind of like the idea of doing something where I could put some everyday makeup on a shelf in here so I could come and do my makeup quickly because it's getting darker and darker in the conservatory where I do my makeup right now but yeah super plain and boring then to the kitchen where there's loads of mess because I haven't tidied it up yet this is my to be done pile. It's stuff that needs to go in the dishwasher or to be thrown away or recycled. I do have some candles on the side I thought I would mention because I've, re well just this morning, put some boiling water in them so that the wax will rise to the top so I can make mech? So I can make wax tarts and I can also um, reuse the jars. So that is what I've done on there and I'm waiting for that to happen. Um, I have a light, if it focuses away from the light, I have a light fitting there which will not fit on any of my lights in this house. I used to have it in my hall. I love it, um, but it's so awkward. It's very kind of old school and it won't fit on anything. So I'm, I'm yet to find where I can put that, but for now it's a bizarre decoration. It's not intended to be a decoration. I just cleaned it um, in here from the dust and stuff, which was just impossible because now it's become dusty again. Um, but that's why that's there. And then a, a bottle for no reason. Um, Kettle is from Asda. As we go along, I will try my hardest to find what I can and link it below for you guys. This is gorgeous and it was not expensive. I really, really like that kettle. Let's film this a little bit again because we did have something with our address hang hanging around. This is the, the danger of doing this kind of thing is that you're bound to let on more than you want to. Um, but anyway, these are kind of cookie jars. I have tea in them or in one of them. I think they were like Nigella Lawson or something from Debenhams a long time ago. This is a hair supplement. Um, I've been using the other one, I'll show you in a second, more than this because I can't get my head around it being liquid. I don't want to drink it like you would medicine. Um, so I've been putting it in other drinks, but I just, I don't know. It's, I would rather it be a pill is the thing. So that is a hair supplement that I have, I might take. Um, various different things like spices and oils and stuff to cook with. The only way that I can make poached eggs. I know people tell me, you, you do it this way and you... No, I've tried every way. These are the easiest ways of making poached eggs. They are like bags. They're just, just try them, they're awesome. Um, tickets to see, that's, it looks like I've just put those out there like to talk about, but I haven't. They've just been living there since they arrived. Dawn French tickets for me and Emma to go and see her in um, November. I'm so excited. I actually went to see her 30 million, mili 30 million minutes tour last year in Sheffield and it was amazing. Um, so I jumped at the chance to go again. Um, some pasta. 
I'm gonna again try to hide some address stuff. <laughs> Random letters that were giving away some of my personal information. Eggs. This is a microwave. It's all gonna get pretty interesting, not. And then drink making facilities. This is the Dolce Gusto, love this. I liked the Tassimo, but this is so much better. Um, I, I just, I don't know, I liked the Tassimo because you could get loads of different branded coffee, uh, but Dolce Gusto on the whole is cheaper, you get more for your money, and there's totally so many more drinks that you can have. Not brands, but drinks themselves. Um, and I haven't found that I need to clean it or descale it or anything as half as much as the Tassimo, so love that. And then I've got my, is it called Monin or Monin? I don't know, my caramel syrup, which I need to swap the pumps because um, I've got a new one. You can buy these from Costa, but they're a lot more expensive. I bought this from Costa yesterday because I got a bit desperate, but you can buy them online. I will see if I can find a link uh, to where you can get those syrups online. That is that. Then we've got some random artwork from the children and some magnets, um, but that is the kitchen. Oh, how could I not mention these? Emma had these made for us when we first moved in. They're spoons with all of our names. So we have Ella and me, and Milo, and Lee. How cute is that? And they came in the jar and everything, so I kind of think that Lee looks like a Jetson. But yeah, there we go. Cooking books that I never use, and that is the kitchen. Moving on to the living room. This is where we find out where the dog is. Oh, there he is. Um, I, I just thought he'd be like running around for this, but he is pooped. Um, so we've got the dining setup, which is the thing that I'm kind of bugged by the most at the moment. I'll, again, link everything because I can't remember what anything's called. The table itself is from Ikea and I love it. Um, the problem is, I did these chairs and I really, really like the way that it turned out. I love the colour and everything. However, the prep or lack of prep that I did, which in theory it told me I didn't need to prep them, but I think prep could have been good, um, meant that at one point I sat down, I think I had a wet towel or something, I think I just got out of the shower, and I sat down in a wet towel, and it like lifted the paint off one of the chairs. So, in that moment we were only left with three chairs, and then when we got the dog and we put the puppy pen there, everything kind of moved around. Um, we ended up putting the moulded chair that was in the corner of the room here. It all got kind of messed up, so I don't like this anymore, because nothing matches. But eventually, I don't think we're going to get rid of the puppy pen altogether, but I think that we will condense it, because you can do it in different ways. I think we'll make it slimmer and come out more here than out more there. Um, and we're going to get more of these moulded chairs, not the armchair style, but the regular style to go around the table because we prefer them. So that is that. I have a picture up there that I had in my old house. Um, I got it from the range. I got that one and another I'll show you in a second. Um, but that one, when we first got it, I can't remember exactly what happened. I think that Lee knelt on it and the glass broke and he still has a scar from where it stabbed him. So that's a funny story. These are not normally here. These are two builder bears which are broken, uh, bought at different times, but they've both come away at the seams. Um, this one's particularly bad because this is Ella's, who's 10, and she doesn't even play with them. She just They just sit on her bed, um, whereas the minion has been played with a little bit, but yeah, that's not so great. So this is Manny, <laughs> this is our puppy. Uh, we will be seeing more of him in the next video, I think, so I'm gonna do a puppy haul and show you everything I've got for him. He sleeps a lot. Um, the pen, I have no idea where it's from, but that is his like bedroom area. Obviously it's closed when we're out or at night time and during the day like right now. He just likes to be in there. So I know that not everybody likes the idea of um, like caging a dog, which effectively is what you're doing, but he seems to really like it. Dogs are den animals and they like to have their own space. So, you know, um, it's working for us so far. Um, then we have a messy looking sofa. This sofa is actually from Next really love this sofa. It's getting a little bit, it could do with fluffing up. Occasionally we will switch the pillows around to make them less saggy like they are now. Um, but the material, I don't know if they still do this, we got it last year, but the material was like this hybrid stuff that um, was supposed to be really good for kind of cleaning and anti-stain and stuff. So in a month or two, when the dog is definitely toilet trained, um, just maybe just before Christmas, we're going to get it all cleaned and see how nice it comes up. But I will report back then in the next update because I have absolutely loved this sofa. I love the, the shape of it and everything but the material has been really hard wearing for the kids and now the dog. This is a little Ikea um, coffee table. We used to have the sofa pulled out so it was like flush and the table on the other side came pretty much to the wall um, but since we've got the dog we won't, don't want it to be able to fall down the back of the sofa obviously so that's slightly different but I love this. I think it's supposed to be a TV unit um, but it just really works with the length of this 
this sofa I found you get a little bit um, more space and you don't have kind of dead space because you wouldn't get normally get a coffee table as long as this I feel like it's a better use of space um, the lamp was from Debenhams some time ago and oh this is what I wanted to tell you these are the supplements for my hair that I'm taking at the moment the hair affinity they smell and taste horrible really really gross but we'll see I can't tell you they're working out oh man they just got a whiff of them they smell so bad um, but that is that oh and my mug this is, these are the drinks that Milo and I were having before I took him to school. This is the mug that I got from the Matilda musical, which I took Ella to for her birthday. I love that mug. <laughs> Ella was like, hmm, well, suck it up. Um, MacBook Air, what is this called? Modem, and that's that. Crooked photos, they're not crooked. I can, I can make them not crooked, but they always are crooked and yeah, they need cleaning, um, but they pretty much always are. I swear to God, I measured them, they are absolutely not crooked, but they swing. I think I'm going to get some like blue tack or something to make it so that they are perfectly in line all the time. Whatever. I just, I don't have to look at them most of the time because I sit on the sofa. So the other side of the room, that is like a cupboard with junk and shoes and stuff in it. Um, this was my brand new chair. Those of you that follow my blog and my Instagram will know. I was obsessed with this chair. Love, love, love this chair. It looks different. I have um, a rug on it right now. It's like button back. I love it so much. I waited so long for it to come and I had it specially made. It's also from Next. It's called the Sherlock and it is a snuggle seat. So it's basically a double width um, armchair. So it's not quite a sofa and it's not quite an armchair. It's somewhere in between. And it's so comfortable and it just looks so nice. This footstool is from Ikea and it looks a lot like the sofa but it's not the same material very very similar but not the same and I've put um like a charcoal what is it called chenille throw over it just to try and I'm trying to kind of blend the two greys together at some point I'm going to get some dark grey cushions but I think I'm going to wait until Christmas time and see how everything looks and what kind of colours I want to add in because uh, at the moment, the only things that are that pale grey are the sofa, the footstool and the chairs, but the chairs will be white at some point, so I'm going to wait. Previously, I would get stuff all the time, um, just be like, oh, I'm going to get this and not even think about it. With this house, I want to give it a little bit of time and think, what do I really want and make some better choices. So that's why I haven't done everything I want to do yet. Um, the mantelpiece I really like, that's the other Marilyn Monroe picture I was talking about. This used to be on the top of my landing and I loved it. Um, we don't actually have any mirrors hung downstairs. There are very few mirrors in the house, you'll see, um, as we go along. But much as I kind of miss having a mirror, like you can't stand up and check yourself before you leave the house and stuff, um, which is why I think I'm going to put a mirror in that um, downstairs toilet. Much as I miss having a mirror there, I much prefer the picture. Um, the star, I think, was from Matalan. Slightly off centre, needs moving. Um, star was from Matalan, I think, two years ago. The Hurricane vases um, were from Tesco and the letters, which I'll show you a bit more up close, the letters were from eBay and I actually got a tester pot and painted them. So I like that. That is an Ola Keeley candle. Keeley? Ola, Ola Kylie? I forget. Um, and then that's an Avon Reed diffuser. Down here I've got some more candles, Bath & Body Works and what is that called? Kringle. And that copper M is from Olive Burner. So that is my mantelpiece, which is probably my favourite area. This little nook is probably my favourite area. I did have the moulded chair here with that sheepskin rug over the top of it and really liked that. I had this chair here. It all just seemed not quite right, so I, I much prefer this setup. Um, and then there's the TV. Nothing special. Really struggling with a TV unit with this particular TV because the actual stand that it's on is really really wide like they're so far apart so I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with that um, moving forward because I don't I feel like it's a little bit precarious um, but I'm yet to find a better solution but that's also from Ikea that TV unit it's a coffee table and underneath it we have a fur rug um, or it's a fur throw that I didn't like on the bed it was too stripy and I put it under there just not knowing where else to put it and money keeps going and laying on it so that's pretty cute um, but that was from Asda and we've got Manny's food bowls and his little cushiony bed thing, which is from Pets at Home. Um, a little French bulldog <laughs> cloth. I just like, there's a cloth there. This is just a pile of clothes over there. This is very, you know, really what my house looks like. Little metal 
or China Silver French Bulldog is from Debenhams. And then on this side, I have some other candles. I've got Fireside Treats, which is my current favourite, and a teeny little spiced orange, which I dug out because I found um, that, which was my secret Santa gift from last year. So that is that. One thing I did want to show you, because everyone that I speak to, or everyone that comes into the house mentions these, um, and I think it's just something you can add on to any windows, like any windows that are like UPVC like this, because this, to me, says it's an add-on unit. But it has these blinds, which are within, the window it's so so useful we put those down every single day or every night we put them down it feels so much cozier you don't have to look at the junk if there's a mess you just close them up like you can see through to here it's like the treadmill which is clearly being used as a treadmill right now you can close that if you don't want to see the mess and you can still see through the rest of them it's just really super useful so moving through into the conservatory this is split so one half of it is my space um, it's kind of all my stuff that I don't know what else to do with, truth be told. Um, it's just things that I'm either working on all down here. I've got lots of products that I need to review or have just come in or whatever else. Some stuff that I don't really want to put away yet because I haven't used it or whatever else. <laughs> I don't know. Some decoration stuff. I think this is like bags and purses in some of those. Um, and then some lipsticks, various things. Random knickknacks, basically, is what I'm going to say. Um, and then here, I very rarely use my computer now. I told myself I would sit here when I took my other school. I'd come and sit and do some work, but I'd still sit at the sofa and use my laptop. So um, it gets used more for games and stuff by Ella and myself very occasionally. And this is the desk where I'll sit and do my makeup now. My makeup is now housed in these. Those of you that have been following me for a while will remember I used to use these Helmer units for makeup storage. And um, one thing about having such a massive collection is you never get to use it all. So what I've tended to do instead is I've got my mirror and I'll put that here and I sit and do my makeup. Now I have one drawer where I've got my basic stuff and that gets full and then I'm going to put everything away and I'm going to start putting things back bit by bit. So like, for example, right now I've got a lot of stuff in this drawer. This is my everyday makeup. I know it's not everyday makeup, but it's stuff I've been using and then throwing back in that drawer. So at some point in the next week, I'll put all of those things back away into their individual drawers and then I'll have a foundation and a concealer in the morning and I'll think, right, what blusher shall I have? And I'll go to the blusher drawer. So instead of using one blusher every day, I'm actually getting into the rest of my collection and trying to use it all. So that's how I'm using that. If you want to see an updated collection, I will do that because everything's kind of in the same place. I've got all my lipsticks and lip products and some of my Freedom stuff down here. And um, I just feel better about the whole thing. My planner, because I've been doing stuff with my planner this morning. Completely obsessed, actually. I did <gasps> Christmas. I've been actually planning. I'm like a teenager. Um, I've bought so many stickers. Let me show you. Look. Stickers. Stickle Co. Or well, Stickle Co. Stickle Heart Co. I don't know. I love her stickers. Um, and I've ordered some more from somewhere else. So you can expect a video on my vlog channel about that very, very soon. But that's kind of my area. This is the kids' toy storage. But it looks, you know, how I wanted it to look and white and clean and all that. Then we have the door. This looks like this right now because of the dog and we're in and out all the time. Um, then the kids have this corner for Lego. Clearly not been tidied up, um, but Lego and other toys and stuff. And then we have the treadmill, which is clearly obviously been used right now as a treadmill. No, not so much. I'm going on a weekend with some blogging friends this weekend and I'm getting together the stuff that I'm going to take. And that's just basically where I'm putting things right now in boxes. Everything will go to the car and then hopefully we'll tidy it all away. And this will become a usable treadmill again. It's only looked like this for like a week. I have to admit, I don't use the treadmill as much as I should, but Lee has started using it, so I don't feel like it was such a complete waste of money. Um, but it's nice to have it. I don't know. Uh, then I've got my, com not my computer, my camera, which is pretty much on its stand all the time. So that is everything in the conservatory, apart from this little junk ledge that we found up here. Um, yeah, so that's everything in here. If you want to see more, you can click the links below to go upstairs and see the middle floor, uh, then perhaps onto our bedroom and see all that bits and pieces. But if you don't want to, then here ends the tour of our living area. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'll stay a while and check out some of my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out my vlog channel. I am vlogging every single day in October. Um, and I will see you guys next time.